Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up and install the Time Is Money plugin on your server so that you can reward players for playing on your server. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that we need to do is install the plugin, but before we do that, we need to make sure that we're running a couple of other plugins first. So as this plugin is based around money, we do need an economy plugin installed, such as Essentials, and we do need a Vault installed as well, so this plugin can link into the economy plugin. So if you go to the control panel for your Minecraft server, then go to the plugins tab, then under the bucket plugins tab, search for Essentials, and then I'm just going to be installing Essentials for the economy plugin. Feel free to use whatever one you want, you don't have to use this one, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use this one. So click install and then you also need vault. Now you will need vault no matter what economy plugin you're using. And um, so just make sure you install this too. And then once you've got an economy plugin installed and vault, go to the spigot plugins tab and search for time is money and then click install latest. And then once you've got all them installed, click restart to load them. So once you've given your server a few moments to restart, we can take a look at the configuration files. So if you go to the file manager, then go to the plugins folder, you'll see a couple of new folders here. If you've just installed Essentials or another economy plugin for the first time, you will see a folder for that plugin, but we're not going to be going over that today. We're just going to be going over time is money. So go inside of that folder and then open the config.yml file. So in here are where the settings for this plugin are contained, and it's where you can set up the payouts for the time is money plugin. So we're just going to be going through each of these settings one by one. Um, so let's start right at the top. So the first setting which is here is you're able to disable the payout in different worlds. So let's say you have a creative world for example where they have all the items already and there's no need for money. So you are able to disable it in that world because if there's no need for money what's the point in giving them the money in that world? So by default it's just got a world here called creative world. Let's say your world was called I don't know um, creative map maybe you would just change it to display the name of that map and let's say you had multiple worlds which you didn't want it to be in so let's say you had a hardcore faction server um, and you had a world called kit pvp you'd put in quotations kit pvp and then that would disable the payout feature in the kit pvp world so the next setting is afk payout so this defines whether a player gets a payout if they're afk or not so if a player joins the server and then leaves that player on the server while they're away from their keyboard for say 24 hours, they could technically get like a free payout. So you can decide whether you want to enable or disable that or not. I would recommend save, leaving it as false as that means they won't get a payout if they're AFK. And I think that's a fair way to do it. So the next extra settings is whether it displays messages in chat, the action bar, and how often it displays them. I'm just gonna leave these as default as I like the fact that it displays messages. The next setting is store money in bank. So this defines whether the money is stored in the time is money bank or in the economy bank. So if you're using a plugin like essentials and someone types forward slash bal, the money would usually be displayed there, but you can have it displayed in the time is money bank. So they would have to type forward slash ATM to see their money. I'm just gonna leave this as false as I like it using the normal economy. The next setting is allow multiple accounts. So this is where you can define whether players are allowed to have different accounts coming from the same IP address. So I like to leave this as true as some people have brothers and sisters who come on the server and play and if you disable this they won't be able to get rewards if they have brothers or sisters as well. So the next setting is choose payout by chance. So you can define whether payouts will be delivered by chance instead of permission. So the way payouts work is you can either give people permission to them or you can give them a chance. So if you give them a chance that means they could receive this um, up to the percent that you put it at. So if you give them a 10% chance, that means they basically just have a 10% chance of getting it. Whereas if you give them permission, they will definitely get that if they have permission to do so. So the next set of settings is where you define the actual payouts that are given to the players. So here you can set different types of payouts. For example, you can see by default, we've got one and two. So you can have different ones for different players. For example, if you've got donators and you want them to receive better payouts or you've just got higher ranking players who should receive better payouts, you can add different ones and give them separate payouts. So let's go over how a payout works. So here, let's take a look at the first one. So we've got the name of it, which is one, and then the payout amount. So this is how much they will get paid. And this is the maximum amount they can receive per day. 
So they'd receive 50 per payout and then they'd receive up to a thousand per day. And then you can see here, there's a line with a hashtag in front of it. When there's a line with a hashtag, that means it's a comment, so it's not valid. So you can give them a 10% chance of receiving this payout or you can just give them explicit permission. So if we set a permission for this, so if you put T-I-M and then the, the permission after it, so let's say, because this is one, let's call it one. So you'd have to give them this permission node within a permissions plugin such as permissions X, then they would receive this payout if they had it, or they'd receive a 10% chance. If you set it to use the chance, you'd need to put a hashtag in front of the permissions line, just so that it uses the chance instead of the permission. I'm going to just be using permissions though. So the next one, is number two and if these are just default ones you can rename them or add extra ones if you wanted to or even just have one payout you don't need to have two or three or whatever you wish so again it's similar for the first two settings it's got the payout amount and max payout per day which are considerably higher amounts as this should be assigned to better players who are maybe have donated or have built their way up on the server already and you can see there's a command section here so you can also have it run commands for example you can see here it's given a player a diamond every time they receive a payout so you can also assign this to the first one if you wanted to you could just copy it over and you can run any command you want it doesn't have to be give it can literally be an, any command in the game for example if you've got a crates plugin you could run a key command and where it gives them a key to a crate it's completely up to you and then again it uses a similar thing with chance and then permission so if they have permission to use this they will get it whereas if they only have a chance they will have maybe a 90 percent chance 10 percent chance completely up to you and then let's say you wanted to add a third one, you would simply just copy one of these and then paste it below. And then edit it, make sure you change the name, change the permission as well. So maybe set this one to three. And again, just change it to reflect whatever figures you want it to. So that's how you set up all the payouts for the server. I'm just going to leave it as two though, as I don't feel the need for three. But if you do, feel free to do that. So the next set of settings is the translations. So here you can set the messages that are displayed in game so for example say if you're running a spanish server you could change these messages to reflect the spanish language or whatever language you are using or you could just change what they say instead if you want them to say something else feel free to do that after the messages you can change the atm settings so this game has an atm function where you can use it on a sign or with a command so you can deposit money into the atm and withdraw it and you can also view your balance and you can disable or enable that there and you can change how it is displayed in game by changing the titles and um, for each one too and then you're also able to select how much money you put into the atm so here you can decide what amount it is so say you wanted it to be in 15s instead you could simply put that amount instead it's completely up to you it just chooses the options that are displayed in the gui so and then finally at the bottom we have settings to set up different ATM balances for each world. So we're not going to go into this, but it is pretty simple and it is commented. So feel free to set this up if you want to. So that's basically all the settings for time is money. So once you've made any changes, click save and then restart your server. Then once you've restarted your server, you can go ahead and join it to take a look at some of the changes. So as you can see, I've just joined my server and when you first join, there isn't really much you can see as you won't receive a payout and stuff because they will come in time um, once you've played on the server. However, you can use the slash ATM command. So if you use slash ATM, you can see here that it displays the ATM and you can withdraw um, different amounts. As you can see, I changed them in the configuration from 10 to 15s. So you can see that I can withdraw 15. You can also view the bank balance. So I've actually deposited some money in the past. So you can see I've got 19,210. But again, it would display the amount that this player has. You can also deposit money as well in different um, amounts. So yeah, that's the time is money. There's not much to it in game. It's more on the configuration side that you're going to be looking at when you're setting it up. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you run into any troubles at all, feel free to go a look on the spigot page and they have a discord chat where you may be able to receive some help and um, from the developer of this plugin and if you run into any other problems and the discord isn't able to help feel free to contact our support and our friendly team will be more than happy to get back to you so thank you for watching i hope that you have a fantastic day goodbye